Welcome to Bits Park, 26th of June 2021 and it's right to the sun 2021. The event is still going ahead at a kind of socially distanced but it is what it is. And we'll see how we get on tonight at Bits Park. People have already set off, people have set off at their own pace. So we've got the castle, it's going to be attached to the bike in a bit and it's working this time. Good dodgy attire tonight, Mr. Happy. I won't be happy very shortly. I'll be Mr. Knackered. Well, off I go. 100 miles to Edinburgh. Priority is Moffat. Need to get on the road, really. And I'm on my jacksy right now, so I'm off to tag along with a few more people in a bit. Get a bit of luck. Back in the A74. I can't get it. Well, it's the M6, if you get what I mean. Just coming out of Carlisle now. Got the main round of it. The people are going at a terrific clip tonight. I mean, they're flying past me over 23 mile an hour, and I was shifting at one point. They're just coming across the border now. It's a great eh? There's a great chase hotel, and here we are, you'll be able to see the sign in a minute. I'm against the wind as well, so it's even more surprising, the pace is absolutely electric. There we go, Scotland. Best behave we shall now, folks. There's the junction. You want to get married? This is the place to come, folks. But I won't be. Right, just coming up on 24 miles. Sun's out. Just coming up to half past nine. Well, it's now gone quarter to eleven. Just arrived in Moffat. Chip shop shuts very shortly. Square. It's not quite right. Hi. Hello. Look how much you can see. Main Street. It's all about the park up here. Mad gas to the chippy. Then it's the infamous Devil's Beef Tub. The climb. Bikes everywhere. Cracking night now, things ease down. It's a bit midgy as well. Very midgy actually. So quite famished now, so I'm going in chippy. Remember the mask. So yeah, I'm a cyclist now, leaving Moffat and heading up the beef tub. That's my setup for the evening. And I've got a back one. Right, luckily riding along with the gentleman from Carlisle tonight, so. I've got company all the way to Edinburgh. That was a lovely fish out of there. Best piece in kebab house. Very tasty fish. And I got a free scotch pie scopped in as well, so I can't complain. Quite rowdy outside this pub, but who cares? So anyway, let's crack on. I don't know how much you're picking up this angle this little sky. Still quite light. into this clown, devil's beef for sure. Shame there's no bad pipe at the top, but you never know. One for the pier. Well, top of devil beef tub now. Still really light. 
and there's midges everywhere up here as well. There's no escaping these tonight. Very picturesque from the top. It might look dark on the phone, but it's not. So we're in down the tweeds in here now, in the crooked. Some of these roads are dreadful. Now, maybe drop a couple of miles out of the city centre. Getting light now. Still quite strong now. Second wind. Just under 93 miles. Seven to go. Bang in the middle now, I think. Coming up to Queen Street. Yeah, we probably had to walk because there's that many people about last time. It's deserted tonight. Yeah. Loads of folk about last time around. Oh, oh. oh yeah. <laughs> So quiet now. What a difference it was two years ago. This was like bouncing. Incredibly quiet. Oh, a box. Ah, I don't have to come and pick that up. Right, I've gone over a hundred miles. So I should say have it. This is down onto the seafront now. So, Whew. 10 past 4 in the morning, I think, just check the time, in fact 20 past 4, sunrise about half past 4, so whether we get one, I'm talking to debate because it's cloudy, unfortunately. But, yeah, got a setting. So it's the second time now I've completed Right to the Sun. I'm chuffed a bit. I've done it again. It's a couple of years older, but stamina's still there. Must admit, between 60 and 80 miles, I was in a bit of a struggle. I was getting quite sweaty and agitated, and I had to uh, stop. Compose myself, helmet off, bandana off, give myself a shack, and then a second wind came. I was fine after that. Spot on. <laughs> I just found that. <laughs> oh! <laughs> All needs a clown mask. And I 
That's Roger Bevan from Carlisle, and this is his first 100 miler, so he's absolutely delighted he's got the, his first 100 miler in. Pleasure to ride with, good crack. Some folks got the right idea. Should have brought one in 10, pitched up for the bit, gone to sleep. <laughs> Oh well. As we're looking across to Cramond Island, Cramond Island, we haven't got the uh, desired sunrise this morning. There was a, a little hint of sun, but it lasted off about 30 seconds. It is what it is. Well, I've ditched the usual camera I've had on for the ride. I've come over to the fourth bridge now, the new fourth bridge, and I'm on it. There's the old one, and here's the new one. I'm cyclist, I've done the event, got time to kill, so right idea like myself. Oh, this is like some baby, this like hell's bells. Stunner. Absolutely spectacular. I think this is about the middle of it now. Oh look. Oh the flocks. Wow. Loads of them. Heck. And that's the view from the other side, the fourth bridge. I've come down to the other side, very nice. And pan round. And now the other bridge as well. This car's starting to move on that now. Both a thing of beauty. Well, I've got the Cathedral back on now. That's the view. Anchor out there. Is it the Fairfax Pass? It's called. Correct me if I'm wrong, somebody. I do apologise if I'm wrong. It looks lovely down there. No a fishing village. And obviously that's the real way it goes across there. I've seen on painters on the TV when they're up on that bridge painting it. As you look up here, this is just like gigantic. <laughs> Somewhere else, this really is. Well, the adventure doesn't stop. I've uh, come back into the city centre on a cycle track, and uh, the first time I've been looking at Murrayfield, big stadium. This wouldn't mind going in it sometime out here. Still got that old fashioned feel, the banks to sit on and stuff like Wembley had banks to sit on, old Wembley. Yeah, very impressive. Hearts next. And I've come down one of these side streets and there's an entrance here into one of the stands at Hearts, Wheatfield stand. And obviously, the turnstiles is here as well. See if I can get around the other side. It's all tight. They enclose this stadium, I think, in these streets up here. Yeah, well, it didn't take long to uh, find the main entrance area. The Tyne Castle, home of Art of Midlothian. It's quite nice up there. Like all the boxes and stuff, suites, hospitality stuff down here, main stand. Yeah, all tightly enclosed here, they can't really extend a great deal in this place. Oh, it's another stadium to visit. Nice from the side, this is the away end where they're going, away fans. I can see 
over there, there's the gap, see the steep stands. So you'll probably get a decent view all around in the stadium. Well, I'm at Hibs ground now. Uh, this area is now, I'm not going any further up here, it wouldn't be right. It's been yours at the Corby Test Centre. So yeah, it's not uh, politically correct to go up there. So these are two of the stands in the ground. I'm going to film around the other side if I can. So here we are, Easter Road. Hibs ground. Here we are, Edinburgh. Bragging rights with art, of course. So what I like on these stands here, we've got all the, these little walls and plaques on, people's names on, I think. And there's some down the bottom end too. Which is a, a nice touch. Uh, uh, nice main stand. Arts look slightly posher, however. I hope a Hibs fan doesn't give me some jeep for saying that, but I'm just saying that. Yeah, I did manage to get right round in the end, so... Nice enclosed stadium. I do like stadiums that are proper enclosed. Gives a better atmosphere. Plenty of these buildings around it as well. So you get proper busy on match days, packed out round this road. Here I am sat in Edinburgh Waverley Station, just chilling out. I've got an hour or so to wait. Done another 26 mile, believe it or not. Just having a much about. So I've had a freshen up in the toilets, got changed. Feel a bit better, I don't want to stink on the train. Wouldn't be appropriate really. Just take this mask off for a minute. Yeah, it wouldn't be appropriate to stink on the train. Anyway, it's been a good night. Got there, 100 miles to come and enjoyed it. Um, it just, yeah, just, just a shame the cycle rave wasn't on due to the restrictions and stuff. But it was still a good, really good turnout as well on the beach. And again, the sunrise was somewhat disappointing as it was back in 2019. But no one could complain. Everyone's had a good time, and that's the main thing. So I shall close it out in there, so that's goodbye from me, and I'm not going to say goodbye from anybody else, well, the bike, that's done me proud, and I'll see you next time.